Hi everyone, uh, I wanted to do a quick demo on the Windows Home Server phone app for Windows Phone 7, uh, WHS Phone. There's been a lot of talk about it in the forums lately, and since I have a, this is a Samsung Focus, this is my Windows Phone 7, my wife has one just like it, uh, I thought I would do a quick demo on WHS Phone, so let me bring it up here, there's the icon, just tap on that see that there. Uh, I'm currently connected wirelessly here in the house to my wireless network and you can see that it already accessed my server and brought up the various folders on my server right now. Uh, this is the files tab which shows you all the folders that are currently there. If you swipe over to the left uh, this is sort of like a, it's very similar to the uh, media center connector information that you get uh, in PowerPack 3 for version 1 uh, shows you the health of the drives, tells me that I'm currently using a little over 6 terabytes of my 7 terabytes that's available. Uh, looks like it's time for me to buy some more drives. Then this next tab is for the users. Uh, you can do a little uh, remote um, access here as far as changing permissions for the users if you need, if you need to. Um, this is one of the other features. Go back here, swipe again, showing me my computers uh, currently on the network. Then my shares uh, gives me a my health status screen that you normally would see when you log on um, to your Windows Home Server on your PC. And then back to the uh, file folders. Now I'm going to start here. Here's the music folder. I have about 400 gigs of music on my server and you can see it accesses them pretty pretty quickly you can scroll through them pretty good uh, let's see here try a little Brian Adams here and see if this works you gotta dig down and then tap on the song you want and it will start playing I don't know if you can hear that they also have a feature down here in the bottom menu, it's a music player, you click on that and it opens up a little music player and you actually see the album art there from Brian Adams' Reckless album. Now I will say uh, it works pretty good here at home on my wireless network, but uh, where I live, AT&T is still on the Edge network, so when it comes to streaming this music, uh, it's a pretty lousy experience when I'm away from the house. Um, anxious, anxiously awaiting them to get 3G. So that's a little demo on the music folder aspect of it. Uh, let's go to photos here. I can show you the photos. It's going to go out to my server, bring up all my... i got a lot of... I've got, I think I've got about 75 gigs of photos, 60, 75 gigs. Open up a quick folder here just to show you the functionality of that. It's going to load photos. This is from my daughter's graduation party last June. And you can open one up and it'll open it up. And you can also turn the phone sideways and it'll change the orientation. And you can just swipe through it like any other uh, photo app on the phone. It's just that you're going through the folder that's sitting on the server right now. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, over the edge network, it works. It's pretty slow though. But if you ever wanted, to, if you're away from home and you wanted to show somebody some photos, uh, you know, it's not that painless. But music, streaming music, is not much fun. So let me get, go back here a couple of clicks. And I'm back to my file folder. So uh, it's a. I like the app. It's very worthwhile. As soon as um, AT&T gets me at least 3G in the area, I can see that it'll be a lot more functional for me. Uh, it currently does not stream video, which I'm kind of bummed about that because let me go back here for a minute. I can access my recorded TV folders. Uh, and it sees the files that are in there, but um, it will not play anything. Let me see if I can bring one up here. 
Oh. No, it's not even going to open it up. So, uh, I mean, it's it's a cool app. Like I said, I would like it better if I had 3G where I live, where when I'm away from home I could do a little more accessing of it. But if you have a Windows Phone 7, uh, it's called WHS Phone. And I think the developer just posted in the forums that they have an Android uh, version of this too. So if you have an Android phone, uh, check it out. It's kind of cool.